excited today because we just checked in here for the weekend. Yes, we've never stayed here and we haven't even seen our room yet. No, we haven't and we're gonna bring you guys along with us as we go check out our room for the first time, do a little room tour and then also just go around the resort and do a little bit of a tour of everything that the Grand Floridian has to offer here. So come along with us and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is go find our room and it's back here in this building. So this building sits on the Seven Seas Lagoon and it's called Boca Chica. And our room is not lagoon facing, it is courtyard facing. So let's go find our room and check it out. our room. Now let's see if our magic bands let us in. So we have made it here to our room at the Grand Floridian and impressed already. The size of this room looks pretty large. So let's walk in and check it out. And we get the two queen beds. I believe these are queen beds, not doubles. And doesn't this look great? It feels great in here too. Thermostat set on 70 degrees. But I really like the design of this room. I like the colors a lot. And check it out. There's a little balcony out there. Oh man, there's so many things to check out in here. Look at this huge TV. That is awesome. All right, well, let's check out some of the details in this room. I know there's some drawers here. Steph, open that up. I think I'm going to think that's a refrigerator. Taylor, are you going to open that up for us? Wow, it's a refrigerator. That's so cool. Is there anything in there? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. And this is a really nice stand. Check out the TV. Taylor has already made herself at home and she's relaxed here on this couch. Taylor, did you know that this couch, it folds out into a bed too? Ugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bed. Climb on it and see how it feels. Go for it, Tay. Tay, jump on the bed. Whoa. Oh yeah. Is it comfy? Of course, over here we've got the Keurig machine with all the Joffrey's coffee you could want and there's even some twinings tea there as well there's your ice bucket and the cups there's a mirror right here hey guys and check out the details on the chair i love this you see the hidden mickey guys right there that's so cool and this chair actually slides out and then there's a desk that comes out since the coffee stuff's taken up the whole table this desk pulls out and you get a nice little sitting area here like I said, I really love the design of all the colors and everything in this room. And these beds look really comfortable. They feel soft, but Stephanie's gonna give it a true bed test and she's gonna jump on it and see how it feels. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is actually surprisingly soft. Does it feel good? Yeah, I mean, these pillows are really nice. You can tell they're not just like cheap pillows. <laughs> Tay, how's the bed feel? <laughs> <laughs> so
So Tay, how do you like the pillows in the room? Um, basically like marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. So here's the little table between the beds, and I gotta tell you guys, this phone looks like it's about 30 years old. Everything in the room looks pretty updated and nice, but this phone, look at that thing. That's like from the 80s, <laughs> it's kinda funny. But there are plenty of charging stations, so here's a plug with some USB plugs, and again, this is the little table that's between the beds. There's no lamp on it, because there's the lamps over the beds, which is actually really nice. But when you come back around here, kind of keeping with the charging places, right here there's an outlet, two outlets, and two more USB, and there's actually two of these, so there's another one over there too. So plenty of locations in here to charge your phone. So we were actually really surprised to see that our garden view room has a balcony, but I want to just point out the details here. Like, check out all these little Mickeys. It's covering the curtains. How awesome is that? We didn't think there was any Mickeys on this one, and then the more we looked, there they are. The detail is phenomenal here. Here is the balcony for our room, the big sliding doors going in, and you got two chairs and a table, great place to come out in the morning and have coffee. And then look at our view. This is considered a courtyard view room, and you can see it's a very relaxing, nice view. Actually, if you lean out over here, you can see over into the Seven Seas Lagoon, looking over towards the Contemporary, and I've heard the, the horns from the boats going back and forth for the ferry boats, and actually I can hear, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear the train right now, the Walt Disney World Railroad, and for those of you who don't know the grounds here at Grand Floridian, this is Narcoosie's, the restaurant Narcoosie's, and uh, the Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Castle is directly across from us on the other side of this building. Um, never been here before and stayed in a room over here, so I don't know if you can see the fireworks from here or not. It's possible they come up high enough to get above Narcoosie's, I'm just not sure. But uh, nevertheless, this is just an awesome, awesome location here in a very relaxing room looking over the courtyard. Very cool. So when you first walk in the door, you take a right and there's this big closet. You take a left and that's where the bathroom is. But in this closet, it's actually, yeah, it's two doors. It's quite large. And you can see back there, there is the iron and ironing board. And here is a couple robes. And then your blow dryer and a little stand right here with a safe. So there is a safe and I would think that this safe is, yeah, definitely big enough to fit a laptop in, some cameras. It's a decent sized little safe for a hotel room. So when you turn left, you walk right here into the main bathroom area and you got this big vanity with two sinks. Again, everything in here is very roomy and very, very classy. Hey guys. And uh, this big mirror, you got a nice big mirror. Um, I, all the lighting I think is great in here and of course you had the H2O products and uh, everyone loves these. We'll definitely be trying to take home as many of these we can get our hands on. And I do like this artwork, guys. Look, Alice in Wonderland. Nice little touch here in the bathroom. And when you take another left after you come in the bathroom, this is where the toilet area is and the shower and bathtub. Little towel rack up here. And everything looks very classy, um, very well maintained and clean. Nice big shower head. And again, those H2O products down there. So that's our room here at the Grand Floridian, and I'm so excited for this weekend. How about you? Me too. The room is awesome. Um, definitely exceeded my expectations. The decor is awesome. The bed feels amazing. And the amenities here look really nice, so I'm excited to go check more out. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's continue and go check out more around the resort. made my way over here to the main lobby and this is where I'm going to begin my tour as we walk around the Grand Floridian Resort. And what an amazing lobby this is, this multi-story atrium. You can hear the man playing the piano down there right now. It is so nice, so elegant and just amazing here at this resort. 
And this is where we're gonna begin our tour, guys. And just a little info of how I'm gonna do this tour. We're just gonna walk around, check out the grounds, point out some highlights. I am not gonna try and go into every single store and shop and show you a review of those. Um, but we're gonna start right here on the second floor. And as we look around, most of the shops and stores that are here within the main building are on this second floor where I'm standing right now. You've got the mercantile over here on my right, which is the gift shop. There's another shop over here with the men's clothing over straight across that's where the jazz band plays when they're out here playing um, and then you've got basin over here which is a soap store that's very cool and over here is the salon as well um, but we're gonna just make our way around the main building here make our way around the grounds and check out this incredible resort to the other end of the lobby here. And here are two of the restaurants at Grand Floridian, Citrico's and Victorian Alberts, both here on the second floor. And both of these are high-end restaurants. Victorian Alberts is a very high-end restaurant, quite expensive. You're gonna spend five to 750 bucks, I believe, per couple to have dinner here. So yeah, very expensive restaurant. Citrico's not as expensive as that at all but a very nice dining experience. to the second floor here of the main building. And back here are two more of the restaurants located in the main building here at Grand Floridian. One of them being 1900 Park Fair and the other being the Grand Floridian Cafe. Both are great restaurants here. Grand Floridian Cafe offering a brunch menu, I believe all day long. And 1900 Park Fair is actually a character dining location, um, both for breakfast and dinner. Breakfast time I believe is Alice in Wonderland. I think even Pooh and Tigger and Mary Poppins. And then um, at dinner time, I believe it is Cinderella and Prince Charming. So very awesome. So we just made our way out of the main lobby building and here is a map. We just came out of here, which is the main building. We're standing out here in the courtyard. And as you can see, the rooms here at Grand Floridian really are made up of six different buildings. So there's rooms here in the main building, which is one. And then you've got two, three, four, five, and six. So these are the six main buildings here that have rooms. There also is the villas up here, which is the DVC portion of um, the Grand Floridian. But we're gonna hang out in this area right now. And we just finished up in the main building. So we're gonna go around actually to the side over here and go check out the Gasparilla Island Grill, which is the open 24 hours a day quick service restaurant here. And also go check out the Captain Shipyard Marina. So let's head over that direction right now. So 
So we've made our way around over here to the Gasparilla Island Grill and you can see there's a lot of seating here outside. So there's some covered tables on both sides and then you can actually head out over here towards the marina with a great view of Cinderella's Castle over towards the Magic Kingdom. And there's seats down here too. So this is actually a really nice area out here to sit and have some lunch. Let's go check out the inside of Gasparilla Island Grill. So when you first come into Gasparilla here, there is a coffee shop with all the Joffrey's options that you could ever want, and also a bakery. So over here, there's actually some nice baked goods, cookies, cupcakes, and then there's a couple different areas here serving some quick service. So you can see everything from burgers to uh, pizzas, flatbread pizzas over here, sandwiches and salads. And then of course, you have some grab and go for parfaits and fruit and also some drink options over here and that is all of the selections here inside of Gasparilla Island Grill. So here's a view from the other side of the restaurant here at Gasparilla Island. You can see you order your food way on the other side over here and there's plenty of indoor seating. There's a whole section here of tables and then as you come around the corner here there's a little bit of a quieter area with some tables and secluded booths back here. So there's plenty of room here within the restaurant to sit and enjoy a meal. And again, this place is open 24 hours a day. So you can come in here at any time and get a snack, get some food late night. So definitely a great option here at Grand Floridian. absolutely love the whole marina area here at Grand Floridian and it's just it's beautiful and look over you can see Cinderella's castle in the distance with this wide angle it looks like it's much further away than it really is but then you can see the whole monorail track and they actually also have some water sport activities here that launch from this marina so let's go over and check out and see what they offer so here is the captain shipyard and this is where like I said they offer some different options here for water sports and actually you can do guided bass fishing excursions. This is where the fireworks cruises launch from. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time are the Sea Racers by Sea Ray here. And they're really not priced that bad, guys. $45 for a whole hour, and that's for two guests, I believe. I don't know what the, the weight limits are, but two adults can ride in one of those little boats. Um, but then they have poolside cabanas that you can rent here. Um, and then the Sea Ray, the Grand One yacht excursion, we can see that the day excursions are cheaper than the evening, probably because the evening excursions um, have the fireworks and I believe probably include a meal too, I'm not sure. Um, but these are all the options offered here at Grand Floridian. And here are the sea racers I was just talking about. How cool would it be to rent one of these and take it around the Seven Seas Lagoon? Something Stephanie and I have been wanting to do for a while and I'm sure we will do it soon. Bring you guys along with us. So we're gonna make our way back further here into the resort and I wanted to point out back here is the shipyard where the marina was and as we come down between these two buildings, we can look across over there's the contemporary resort. That's the Seven Seas Lagoon out there. And then over here is Narcusis and also the ferry dock for the Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna walk that direction right now. And like I said, tucked away back here on the water is Narcusis, which is yet another dining option here at Grand Floridian. Behind Narcusis is the ferry dock to the Magic Kingdom and you can see they just loaded up right now and they're about to head over and the Magic Kingdom is really close. You can see just right across the water there, this little pavilion here is blocking Cinderella's castle, but you can see Space Mountain over there and over there is the contemporary. And if you're wondering what the quickest transportation is to the Magic Kingdom, it is definitely not the ferry boat because this ferry actually comes from the Magic Kingdom. This is the first stop and it's gonna go from here all the way over to the Polynesian, which is way on the other side of the lagoon before heading back to the Magic Kingdom. So the fastest transportation by far to get from 
<laughs> loud horn to get from Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom is by far gonna be the monorail, which you can see the monorail line right there because it's the first stop. Once you get on, the very first stop is the Magic Kingdom. Um, coming back, definitely the ferry might be a good option if you're leaving and the monorail is really busy because the first stop from the Magic Kingdom is going to be Grand Floridian. So back here in the main courtyard is the courtyard pool. And this is one of two pools here at Grand Floridian. And you can see what's really cool and unique about this pool is that the majority of the pool is very short. You can see it starts, it's a zero entry pool, and starts over here, it's only two feet out in the very middle. And at the far, far end over there goes down to four feet at the deepest. And this pool size-wise is huge, <laughs> but from a water standpoint, because it's so shallow, it probably isn't that large of a pool here. It Disney, but very unique and uh, I know Taylor's gonna absolutely love and enjoy playing out here in the shallow water because she could splash around and, and really never get over her head until she goes way to the far end over there. So definitely a very cool pool. So we've made our way out of the courtyard and over here to the south side of the main lobby building to the Mad Hatter Splash area. And check that out, this is such a cool area. Get so excited for Taylor to come here and enjoy her time playing here in this splash area. There's a slide on each side, and then you can see the hat up there every couple minutes fills up with water and then dumps over. It's very, very cool. Right here on the water, a very relaxing area. You can see there's actually a couple cabanas over here, and then plenty of seats, and you can order from the bar as well. So um, a very cool splash pad here right next to what is the second pool which we're gonna go check out next. And here's some of the resort activities. And as you can see, just like many of the other resorts, they do the movies under the stars. So you can see the different nights that they have different movies playing out on a big projector screen out there in the courtyard. Again, here are the water activities, which we already saw. And then here are some of the activities here at the beach pool, which we're about to go check out. So you can see they do hula hoop games and chalk art, all kinds of different activities going on, literally starting at 1 p.m. through 6.30 p.m. So most of the day long. And then right here, campfire and marshmallows on the beach they do at 6.30 p.m. So a lot of options for activities going on here at the resort. And here is the second pool at Grand Floridian and it's the beach pool. And I really like this pool, it has a nice waterfall and there's actually a water slide you can see comes out right there under that bridge. You can see you go around the other side of the rocks and go up and get on the slide and it comes down around and then comes out right here. Um, definitely just by the size, the diameter, a smaller pool than the other one, but this one definitely is deeper. Um, it looks like three feet on this side, four feet in the middle. It looks like it still only makes it to about four feet at the deepest. Um, so still a very family friendly pool. But this one has the waterfall and you can see plenty of chairs over here, plenty of seats and you can order again from the restaurant over here serving I think some burgers and chicken nuggets, kind of like your normal Disney fare. And then over here is the private cabanas that you can rent. And we saw these over on the board as well. I forget the price of them, but here are the private cabana options here at the beach pool. I'm up on top of that bridge now looking down towards the slide and there's where it comes out. If I pan around, you can see up over the rocks here, this is where that slide comes through and zigzags and makes its way right under this bridge into the pool. And here's the view from the other side of the pool and you can see it's actually zero entry. So this is the beach pool, the zero entry in and you can get a better idea of the size of the pool from this location right here. Looking over towards the waterfall and over there is where you actually go up to get on the slide. And you gotta also get a great monorail shot from here. And just on the other side of the beach pool is the DVC Villas. So this is the Disney Vacation Club portion of the Grand Floridian Resort. You can see it's quite large. It's a pretty big building of villas that are all part of the Vacation Club. And from right here, you can see this is the walkway that leads all the way to the Polynesian Resort. So you can continue down this walkway all the way over to the Polynesian. And actually, if you're just curious, the farthest that you can walk from here 
around the lagoon would be to transportation and ticket center. So you can walk all the way around, walk the path through the Polynesian over to transportation and ticket if you'd like to. But it's actually really cool. Uh, we plan, now that we're staying here this weekend, we plan on walking over and have breakfast at Ohana one morning. So we think that's gonna be a nice, enjoyable, just relaxing stroll right here along the Seven Seas Lagoon. And it's really not that far of a walk from Grand Floridian over to Polynesian. Probably only about a 10, 15 minute walk. All right, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and just doing a quick little tour around the Grand Floridian Resort. We are so excited to spend the weekend here. Yeah, definitely excited for that family time. Yeah, it's such an incredible resort and we feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to be able to spend the weekend here in such an awesome room. Look at this guys, this is our balcony. You can see over to the contemporary. Um, I think we're gonna be able to see the water pageant here tonight. So, so excited to be able to stay here in this room and enjoy family time like Stephanie said. We're gonna shut off the camera now and we're not gonna vlog any this weekend. We're just gonna enjoy our time here at the resort. So we hope you enjoyed coming along with us for this tour and that's gonna do it for us here today. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up and subscribe below for more like it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.